if you're trying to find the perfect new home right now, it's tough, if you don't already know, between the high prices, the high mortgage rates, and the low inventory that's out there. Yeah, Alexi Ovalo, our realtor, says she might be, uh, she might find the perfect way to find the perfect house for you. Mm. You're talking about fixer-uppers, aren't yeah. you? It's time to get creative, guys, and roll up those sleeves and I, I just think, get like, working. I, I, I looked at a house in, the West, End of Har in uh, the West End of Hartford. It was a couple of years ago. I walked in. They had knob and tube electrical. Yep. First generation I, was, I walked right out the door. Knob I, and tube electrical? Yeah, it's like from the 1920s, yep. 1930s. Right after candles. So yeah, this it is, seriously yeah. was right after candles. So they didn't upgrade their Nothing. <laughs> and I was like, that was overwhelming for me. But apparently, you don't, you know, not everything can be overwhelming. You can get a fixer upper for a good price and you can do it yourself. That's right. Mm, well, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> like, who's going to fix this up? <laughs> when you said not everything can be overwhelming, I am not a fixer yeah, I'm not I don't have the time. I don't have the fortitude right now in my life to little kids. That is overwhelming to me, thinking about buying a fixer-upper. Yes. When we bought our house, we had to do some things. And my parents said, this is great. Oh, just a little paint, just this. But my husband and I were like, oh my gosh, this is a lot for us. Yeah. What would you say to those couples that, you know, who are feeling overwhelmed and aren't handy or, you know, don't have the time to invest in learning to become handy? Yes. So first off, everyone has a different level of comfort, mm -hmm. right? Like I actually grew up the um, second home that we ever lived in. My parents purchased a foreclosure in South Windsor. This thing needed a wrecking ball. It was so old that the town record said year built 1700s question mark and we wow. lived in that house and my my father my uncle my grandfather they renovated it top to bottom made it absolutely gorgeous so I grew up with construction so for me right so my ability to maybe pursue something like that and my vision right maybe a little bit different than someone else so if you have like little kids it was definitely tough like looking back for my parents like that's very difficult mm. but they Living, were good at that they were good at yeah. it so if you're not good at it what you could do is surround yourself with professionals, right? I always talk about the team. So you could bring in someone that has a vision to say, okay, did you ever think about doing this or that? I myself as a realtor, especially my mother, who's really the boots on the ground, she'll be able to look at a house and say, did you think about doing this or that? Mm. So as a buyer, you wanna think about what are my must haves, my absolute must, whether it's location, right? You can always fix a home, but you can't pick it up and move it, or a number of bedrooms, square footage, things like that. But when it comes to like the vision of a home, sometimes you need a trusted professional to help you with that mm -hmm. and then when it comes time to actually implementing the um, the renovation I always say hire a trusted professional as well right especially when we're dealing with that knob and tube yeah. you don't want to be dealing with that yourself you want things up to code exactly <laughs> up to code yeah. and done correctly uh, but people are really opening their minds to what's out there but based on okay what's my absolute must maybe this is the perfect location but maybe you need some elbow grease, right? And am I able to pursue something like that? The one thing I will caution people is a lot of people are considering to forego the home inspection. No. Oh, do not do forego. That know what you're going to be getting yourself exactly. into. Exactly. Inspect before you invest. That's mm -hmm. my father's tagline. Yeah. But you oh you want to know what you're getting yourself into. Because yeah. if you're thinking I'm gonna do this money dollars in cosmetics, new kitchen, new bath. But what is what are the what's the foundational elements mm -hmm. of the home? Well, you say good bones it leads yeah. to a good house, and you don't have to do the expenses, all the expenses up front. You can right. live in the house as long as it's livable. That's right. Yeah. And then do things over time. You know, do a little bit each year. Maybe do take on a project next year, and so on and so on. So that could be an option as well. Exactly. That's then, exactly what we did. Yeah. I mean, my girlfriend would come visit, and she's like, "You're only living in like one part of the house." I'm like, "Cause we're we're working we're on." Working you know, we're kind of close, right. slowly but working you, our way around. But. It's been seven years already. Yeah, yeah. So it's, but you have to live in the space, like you, you know, just to see what you're comfortable with too. Yes, I'm. I so I'm so appreciate that because so many people will go in and renovate the whole house. Sometimes you have to, but there's something about being in a home for a little while, mm -hmm. so you can kind of feel it out. Like, what are my true needs of this floor plan? And every home is unique, and your needs are unique. So perhaps be, before bringing down all the walls. Mm -hmm. Some people say, I need open, open floor plan. Sometimes that maybe that's, maybe sometimes it's too open, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Everyone's on their phones or whatever, working at home, you know, what and whatnot, the kids, everything. That's a good point, yeah. You know, so sometimes it's nice to be in the home and go slow and steady if you're able. Well, and with inventory so low, with move-in ready homes, you, this might be one of your only options is to buy a house that yeah. needs a little bit 
a little bit little needs a little polish on it. A little it. bit of polish, yeah. a little bit of elbow grease. Is the current market really driving up these fixer uppers? You, you know, do you think more families are just having to resort to this option first? I think people are more open-minded because mm. when they look at their price range and their criteria, I mean, when we really drown to their, dr drain, drill down to their must-haves, mm -hmm. it's really helpful for them to consider more of a wide net of options. Speaking of a more wide net of options, we'll see over on the wax. Thanks a lot.